super serious cooking. Uh, it would appear that I have a mountain or a large hill of uh, shredded cheese today and a bag of nacho chips. Let's, uh, let's put those to good use. <clears throat> okay, so if you haven't guessed it by now, I am making everyone's favorite salad, which is nacho salad. Uh, we have some avocado slash guacamole mix that we made before. We're just going to pour it in the bottom and evenly disperse it. Okay. So now that we have that on the ground, we're going to get rid of that dirty container. Uh, then we're going to throw some chips on top of that. Also important to uh, throw some of the chips on the ground. Feels that that is uh, crucial. And I'm going to have to clean that up later. Isn't that great? Uh, and then we have uh, some sour cream and cream cheese with some taco mix, which is pretty much just chili pepper and uh, jalapenos. We're going to pour that on there on top of the, uh, the nachos afterwards. Um, oh, um, when you're... Uh, making this mixture. It's always important to make sure that the cream cheese is um, thawed more than you had thought it was, or else you're just going to make a mess. Um, let's throw that in there. Then we're going to use our spatula, and we're just going to grab the bottom of it. It's quite exciting. Uh, you're going to try to, like, evenly disperse it as best as you can, which is not easy at all. Whatever, that's good. Now we're going to add some cheese on top of that. Half of the cheese, generally. And then we're going to add some lettuce on top of that. We just have just iceberg lettuce. Uh, and then we're going to throw some salsa on top. Doesn't matter what kind of salsa you use. I have mild, because uh, that's what I got. About that much, and then you're going to grab your spatula again, and you're just going to try to evenly disperse that as well. Okay, cool. Then you're going to get some more chips, and put that on top again. This time, you're going to try not to throw any on the ground. It's going to be harder than it sounds. I really enjoy using uh, chips that aren't your gen generic, just like yellow or beige. Okay. I like using like blue or red because it looks exciting. Uh, and then you're going to take the rest of your cheese, and you're going to put that on top, and you're going to try not to throw any of that on the ground as well. And then you're going to take the scraps, and you're just going to go, booyah. Okay, and then you grab some more lettuce, and put that on top of that, and then you want to throw the lettuce on the ground. If that's where it goes on the ground. And there we go. You got yourself nacho salad. It's exciting. Okay, thank you for watching Super Serious Cooking. Today we made a uh, vegetarian nacho salad. It's uh, probably my favorite kind of vegetarian nacho salad we made. Probably. Uh, I didn't make mention this before, but uh, after you make it, you have to put it in the fridge for at least two hours. You just have to do that. Yeah, so everything just sets and whatever. Okay, so uh, we'll see you next time. And um, until then, uh, make sure you don't throw anything on the floor that you haven't picked up already. Because you may step on it and then it might get bigger or it might become more of a mess. Okay, yeah, have a good one. Bye.